The structure of a human being is a magnificent complexity. The human body emerges as a masterpiece crafted with the finest details of nature. However, the most impressive and extraordinary aspect of humans is undoubtedly the deep mysteries of the brain. The brain is considered the central control unit of humans, coordinating all bodily and mental activities. From this small yet powerful organ in human structure, many processes that underpin our physical existence and spiritual experiences are managed. However, the role of the brain is not limited to controlling bodily functions. It also has a decisive impact on our emotions, thoughts, and even our identity. The brain is one of the fundamental elements that make us human. This documentary focuses on the brain, one of the most mysterious and unexplored areas of human structure. To understand the complexity and importance of the brain, we will embark on a deep journey. From brain anatomy to its functioning, from its emotional connections to learning processes, we will explore the aspects of the brain that shape who we are and how we perceive the world. The brain is the most complex and central organ of the human body. Anatomically, it consists of three main regions, the cerebellum, the brainstem, and the cerebral hemispheres. Each region undertakes unique tasks and controls different functions of the body. The cerebral hemispheres are largely divided into right and left. While the left brain is generally associated with logical functions such as language, mathematics, and analytical thinking, the right brain is often associated with art, music, and emotional functions. The collaboration of the brain hemispheres enables the emergence of complex thinking and behaviors. The brain is controlled by nerve cells called neurons. Neurons communicate with each other by transmitting electrical signals and receiving chemical signals for information transmission and processing. Neurons inside the brain process and store information by forming neural networks and connections. These neural networks are critical for learning, memory, and other cognitive functions. The functioning of the brain is determined by nerve transmission and the interaction of neural networks. The connections between nerve cells allow for continuous change and adaptation called neuroplasticity. This allows the shaping of brain structures and functions based on our experiences and environmental influences. The functioning of the brain involves the convergence of many complex chemical and electrical processes. Chemical signals facilitate the stimulation and communication of nerve cells, while electrical signals move within and around nerve cells. Through the integration of these complex processes, thinking, feeling, movement, and other cognitive and emotional processes occur. Neurons are the basic building blocks of the nervous system and are specialized nerve cells adapted for information transmission. The brain, spinal cord, and other nervous system systems contain billions of neurons, forming a complex network. These neurons receive, process, transmit, and store information. The main components of a neuron include, when examining the structural and functional characteristics of brain cells, neurons, the soma or cell body emerges as a significant component. The soma is the central part of a neuron, typically round or oval in shape. The neuron's nucleus, cytoplasm, and many organelles are found within the soma. The soma serves as a center where proteins and other molecules necessary for the neuron's survival and functions are synthesized and transported. The axon is a long and usually single extension of the neuron. It extends away from the cell body to distant regions and serves as a transmission line carrying output data of the neuron. Axons are responsible for transmitting nerve signals from one part of the body to another. Branches called axon terminals are located at the end of the axon and allow the transmission of nerve signals to other neurons or target cells. The surface of axons may contain a substance called myelin. Myelin insulates the axon, allowing for faster transmission of electrical signals. Dendrites are short and branched extensions that extend from the cell body of a neuron. Typically, a neuron has many dendrites, and these structures allow the transmission of nerve impulses received from the neuron's surroundings. Various receptors are found on the surface of dendrites, and these receptors capture chemical signals called neurotransmitters. Dendrites are essential structural components that enable the neuron to receive information. Communication between neurons occurs through small gaps called synapses. The axon terminal of one neuron forms a synapse with the dendrites of another neuron. 
Synapses convert an electrical signal of a neuron into a chemical signal, facilitating information transmission. Dendrites and axons are structural and functional elements of nerve cells and work together to facilitate information transmission between nerve cells. Through these extensions of nerve cells, environmental stimuli are perceived, processed, and responded to. Neural networks are complex networks formed by many neurons coming together. The neural networks in the brain and spinal cord process sensory inputs, provide motor control, regulate emotions, and support complex cognitive functions. These networks are in constant flux and adaptation, shaped by our experiences and environmental influences. Neural networks are formed by the connections between neurons and are organized to perform specific tasks. For example, the visual neural network is specialized in processing visual information, while the emotional neural network regulates emotional experiences. Neuroglial cells are other brain cells that support neurons and perform various functions. Neuroglia nourish, clean, support, and protect brain tissue. They also insulate neurons to speed up nerve conduction, regulate the metabolism of nerve cells, and maintain the balance of cerebrospinal fluid. The brain consists of various regions, each with different functions. The frontal lobe, located in the front part of the brain, acts somewhat like a boss. It is responsible for planning, decision-making, and even shaping personality and social behaviors. For example, when you order a meal, your frontal lobe is at work deciding what to order, when to order, and how to share the meal. The parietal lobe, situated in the back of the brain, acts as a complete regulator. Sensory perceptions, such as touch, temperature, and pressure, are processed and regulated here. Additionally, the parietal lobe helps you orient yourself in the surrounding world and focus your attention. For instance, when you catch a ball or pay attention to something, your parietal lobe is engaged. The temporal lobe functions like an auditory jukebox. It processes auditory information, recognizes sounds, and stores them in memory. Additionally, a part of our language ability resides here. Therefore, when you remember your favorite song, you can say your temporal lobe is at work. The occipital lobe is the brain's visual center. It processes visual information received from our eyes, allowing us to understand what we see and its meaning. Without this lobe, we wouldn't be able to see the sunrise and sunset. The brainstem and cerebellum can be considered the brain's essential workers. The brainstem regulates and controls vital functions such as breathing, heartbeats, and digestion. The cerebellum coordinates movements and maintains balance. Each region of the brain is interconnected and works together. Therefore, understanding what each part of the brain does helps us understand human behavior and thoughts. The brain is the site of complex electrical activity, and this activity manifests as brainwaves. Brainwaves are measured using a technique called electroencephalography and vary during different states and activities. When the brain is awake and active, beta waves dominate. These waves play a significant role in our daily activities, thought processes, and overall mental activities. Alpha waves emerge when the eyes are closed or during relaxation. They represent a state of relaxed consciousness and can also be observed during meditation or light sleep. Theta waves occur during deep sleep, dreaming, and light sleep. They are associated with creativity and connecting with our inner world. Delta waves, with the slowest and largest wavelength, appear during deep sleep. These waves are associated with physical processes like body repair and cell renewal. Brain waves are not only linked to states of sleep and wakefulness but also to consciousness. Consciousness is a result of complex interactions in the brain. However, understanding exactly how it works remains a significant puzzle. Consciousness is a product of communication and synchronization between different regions of the brain. The interaction of brain waves gives us the ability to experience emotions, thoughts, perceptions, and memories. The brain's memory mechanism is one of its most remarkable features. Memory is the process of recalling past experiences, processing, and storing information. There are three basic types of memory. Sensory memory processes instant information received through our senses. For example, when we hear music or taste food, this information is stored in our sensory memory. 
Short-term memory holds temporary information for a few seconds or minutes. For instance, we use short-term memory to remember a phone number for a few seconds. Long-term memory stores information for an extended period. It contains a variety of information, from childhood memories to important historical facts. Learning is the continuous process of the brain adapting and acquiring new knowledge. It involves gaining knowledge and skills from our experiences, education, and the information around us. The context in which information is presented affects the learning process. Information presented in a relevant context is better understood and remembered. Repetition helps effectively place information into long-term memory. Understanding the information supports the learning process. When information is connected to existing knowledge, it is better understood and remembered. The brain is the central control point for emotions. Emotions are a result of complex interactions between various regions of the brain. A series of structures called the limbic system plays a crucial role in the formation and regulation of emotions. Our emotional experiences can be seen as a dance of chemical and electrical signals within the brain. Thoughts, on the other hand, are a product of the brain's cognitive processes. The frontal lobe of the brain is the center for complex cognitive functions like thinking, planning, and problem solving. Our thoughts result from interactions between different regions of the brain and are processed by complex neural networks. There is a strong interaction between emotions and thoughts. While our emotional experiences influence our thoughts and perceptions, our thoughts also shape our emotional responses. The brain is constantly engaged in interactions between emotional and cognitive processes, shaping human behavior, emotions, and thoughts in complex ways. The brain is the most complex organ in the human body and performs many functions. Dreams and the subconscious mind are closely related to the brain. Dreams typically occur during sleep. Different types of dreams can occur during REM and non-REM sleep stages. While there is no definitive explanation for why dreams occur, scientists have proposed various theories about dreams. These theories include the idea that dreams may aid in memory consolidation, contribute to the processing of emotional experiences, and may be a phenomenon that occurs during times of irregular brain activity. Some dreams may reflect thoughts, experiences, and emotions from the subconscious mind. Therefore, dreams are sometimes seen as a reflection of our subconscious. The subconscious mind refers to thoughts, feelings, and experiences that a person is not consciously aware of but still influence their behavior, emotions, and thoughts. Regarding the subconscious, psychoanalytic theorists like Sigmund Freud suggested that the subconscious deeply influences human behavior and plays a significant role in personality development. The subconscious is believed to be an area filled with thoughts, desires, memories, and motivations that lie beneath our consciousness and are often inaccessible consciously. According to Freud, the subconscious controls a large part of mental processes and is a determining factor in human behavior. However, views and research on the subconscious have evolved over time. Modern psychology and neuroscience suggest that the subconscious is a more complex structure than Freud proposed and is not as simplistic as originally thought. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most common neurodegenerative disorders, typically appearing in advanced age. It is a brain disease that progresses slowly and leads to gradual loss of cognitive functions such as memory, thinking abilities, and social behavior. Early signs of Alzheimer's disease include short-term memory loss and difficulty learning new information. Patients may frequently ask repetitive questions or forget a conversation. As Alzheimer's disease advances, there can be a broad deterioration in cognitive functions, including decreased thinking ability, difficulty making decisions, challenges with abstract thinking, and problems performing complex tasks. While the exact cause of Alzheimer's disease is not fully understood, it is believed to result from the interaction of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. Alzheimer's disease is associated with the accumulation of plaques and abnormal proteins in the brain, leading to damage to neurons. Currently, there is no cure for Alzheimer's disease. However, there are some medications and treatment methods available to alleviate symptoms and slow its progression. These include cognitive enhancers, cognitive therapy, physical exercise, dietary adjustments, and social interaction. 
Improving and preserving brain health is about optimizing your overall health and lifestyle habits. A balanced diet is crucial for the healthy functioning of the brain. Choose a diet that includes nutrients important for the brain, such as antioxidants, omega-3 fatty acids, B vitamins, vitamin E, and other essential nutrients. Adopt a diet consisting of fresh fruits, vegetables, fish, whole grains, nuts, and healthy fats. Regular physical activity can support brain health. Exercise increases brain blood flow, reduces stress, lowers the risk of depression, and supports cognitive function. Engage in mentally challenging activities that stimulate your brain. Solving puzzles, learning a new language, playing music, or playing a musical instrument can increase brain plasticity and support cognitive functions. Social interaction can support brain health. Spending time with family members, friends, or community members can improve social skills, reduce stress, and support brain health. Quality sleep is important for maintaining brain health. Getting enough sleep supports brain functions, facilitates memory consolidation, and enhances cognitive functions. Stress can negatively affect brain health. Practice relaxation techniques, deep breathing exercises, meditation, and yoga to cope with stress. Limit alcohol consumption, avoid smoking, and refrain from drug use. These harmful habits can adversely affect brain health and cause damage to neurons. For brand new documentaries and more scientific content, don't forget to subscribe.